I used to look like that. Life is wacky. <laughs> Alright, well, let's film this thing because my Zoom recorder just is dying, I guess. <laughs> I have to change batteries in this thing like every five seconds. Like, what the fuck's up with that? Alright. Wow, it feels good to be back. Okay, let's do it. Where do I put this now? I have so many things over here. We'll grab it from up there. Nope, we'll grab it from over here. I'm gonna cut it. Hi everyone, my name is Gurk and welcome back to the channel. I'm a wedding filmmaker from Kansas City, Missouri. I like drinking Dr. Pepper and talking to a camera. And today, we are going to talk about the age-old adage when it comes to business, under promise, over deliver. And why it's bullshit. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so in case you're wondering, yes, I did get a new tattoo. Uh, I got this literally two, three, two days ago. I got this two days ago. Um, so if it's shiny, that's because there's stuff on it, you know, because it's brand new. Yeah. All right. I got a tattoo. I love it. Um, I am a whole different person. I don't even recognize myself. <laughs> Give me a tattoo on my hand. I mean, come on. Let's talk about under promise over deliver. First of all, what exactly does this even mean? So you're supposed to, in theory, under promise things so that you can over deliver them later. It's, it's literally, oh, two, two. People don't want to see your ass on the camera. I, they don't. I'm sorry. I don't want to tell you. Y'all ever wonder what it's really like to film this? Also, if you haven't gone to see that video, <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, you should go watch it. It's pretty funny. No, now he wants to go away. Okay. That's fine. Sure. I love my cat. Okay. That's a good one. I literally had to go out and get Dr. Pepper this morning because I didn't have any. So you are supposed to essentially stop promising things to your clients so that you can then give them to them later and have them be surprised. Now let's get into why this is absolute bullshit. So I have been doing this for a few years. I literally like stripped my whole package and just gave them like the basics of like one video, eight hours of coverage, like that's it. I stripped everything and went to, okay, in my brain, I'm gonna offer them a lot of stuff later. They don't know that, but it's gonna be like a cutesy surprise. No, stop, stop doing that. Because what I, I saw someone use the example of, I think Apple, App, when you go into an Apple store or when you see an Apple product or whatever, when you buy Apple products, you're expecting an Apple product. You're expecting what Apple has promised you all these years. Now, the reason that Apple is so successful is because they consistently give you what they promise. And then maybe they sprinkle on a little bit more. That I feel like is the, is the, is the thing that we're all missing. I feel like when it comes to under promise over deliver, at least for me, I was missing the, you need to provide a product. You need to provide a service in one way consistently and then sprinkle on the little extra stuff. So when I say, you know, I'm going to do just the basics, I'm going to do the bare minimum and charge you three grand. That's not good enough for me. No, if I'm going to charge you three grand, you're going to get some shit. You're going to get extra videos. You're going to get extra shoot time. You're going to get a, a engagement or a bridal shoot on top of that. You're going to get the products that I want to give you consistently, and then maybe we'll sprinkle on an extra thing. Maybe it's uh, uh, your film on a USB drive or your film on one of those little motion book thingies. If you haven't seen those, you should go check those out. They're super cool. They're actually called motion books, like literally motionbooks.com. I don't know. And that's just the thing that I feel like we, we all just kind of missed is that we felt like it was okay. So we need to just we need to just offer them the bare ass minimum. And then we come out with these huge, gigantic, like, like surprises. When in reality, it's the exact opposite. You need to promise them these huge, gigantic surprises, I guess. I guess they don't have to be huge, gigantic surprises, but you need to promise them whatever you want to promise them. Promise them as many videos as you want to make for them and then sprinkle on something extra. Something that I might start doing, I don't know, I don't know, I really haven't thought about it all that much recently, but I'm definitely going to have to rework it, maybe I'll make a video about that, but something I had seen one time was something called an extras reel, and it was basically everything that they didn't use in the video, but thought that they would want to see. 
I love that idea. I think that's a cool idea. I think that is something that you can not promise, but deliver instead. That's something that you can under promise and over deliver. Dude, I have never clicked record so fast in my life. Okay, where were we? I had to literally run out and get batteries. Where were we? So, under promise, over deliver. Let's not forget that the main message of all of this shit is that you need to deliver a service, a product, as the best you can consistently and then sprinkle on a little bit of that 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 big surprise big promise big delivery that was not intentional i think that's literally all i have for this one this one's really short this one's this one's really short and, and i'm trying to kind of i don't know i'm letting sunday rambles kind of be what they are i've been putting a lot of pressure on myself to like make sunday rambles like 10 minutes long which is usually what they are but but they don't really need to be 10 minutes long i feel like they can be they can be shorter right I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how I like it. If I don't like it, then, you know, we'll, we just won't do it again. But, all right. I'm going to go film another one now that I have an audio recorder back. So, uh, I think that's all I got for you in this one. Please remember that under-promising and over-delivering does not... It, it, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Just deliver, deliver a service as best as you can consistently. And I promise you, everything will work out in the end. All right. That's all I got. For this one do all the youtube things if you want to subscribe if this is your vibe uh i'm here every week that's a lie all right anyways uh if you need love down in the comments you let me know um yeah that's it i'm gonna go film another one much love goodbye Joy. oh it's so cool now